Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell is ramping up efforts to clear the homeless from the sidewalks. He's asking the city council to approve two new, two new bills that would expand the sit-lay ban across Oahu. Manolo Morales joins us live from Kaka'aka with all the details. Manolo. Well, Marissa, you can see the sidewalk behind me, and this is what the mayor wants to stop. He said he and other Oahu residents are frustrated by the sidewalks getting blocked, and that's why he's pushing new laws that would address it. They're designed to walk on, not to put a tent on, a shopping cart on, to lie on, to sit on. They're to walk on. The mayor says he's feeling the frustration from, from many others, and he wants to clear the sidewalks with two new proposals. One bill makes it illegal to block the sidewalk from 6 in the morning until 10 at night. A second bill takes it even further and makes it illegal to lodge or live on a sidewalk or other public areas. Law enforcement will give a warning and can only cite people if there are shelters nearby that have space available. Mayor Caldwell says the idea is to stop homeless from moving around after an area has been swept and to finally seek help and get off the streets. Is to get folks to say, enough already. I'm not going to continue to destroy or impact negatively public property. I will take up the option of moving into shelter and getting back on, my, on our feet. What that basically is doing is he's talking about criminalizing people who happen to be unsheltered. Um, and that is simply a constitutional violation. The ACLU tells me it still has to review the bills, but will likely challenge them in court. It points out that the mayor vetoed a bill that expanded the sit lie ban before because of constitutional concerns and that the current proposals won't work because there aren't enough space in the shelters. There is nothing compassionate about criminalizing someone who just doesn't happen to have a roof over their head. These are our friends, these are our neighbors, um, these are other Oahu residents, and this is just an attempt to criminalize who they are. It's a result of the frustration. So I think there's going to be support for this, and I'm open to making sure it does withstand challenge. Well, now the bills still need to go through a series of public hearings at City Council. Chairman Ernie Martin uh, spoke with me earlier today, and he says he did introduce similar proposals before, so he is in favor of them. Dash and Marissa, over to you.